In this video, I'll be looking at the Audient Evo 8, a four in, four out audio interface. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. A few months ago, I reviewed the Evo 4 from Audient. You can check out that review up here. A great little audio interface with a very interesting smart gain feature. And in fact, I've been using that audio interface within my workflow for most of this year. Well, since then, they've brought out the Evo 8 with more inputs and outputs, but I think it's a little bit more than that, and it can be a great advantage in your studio. So let's take a look in this video, starting off with the spec. The Evo 8 is a 4-in, four 4-out four interface, recording with sample rates up to 96 kHz, and it connects to your computer via a USB-C connector. The inputs consist of four XLR combos, meaning you can either plug in XLRs or quarter-inch jacks. Each of these has 48 volts of phantom power when connected to a USB-C host, or is available for two channels with a USB-A host. On the front, we have an instrument level quarter inch jack input. This overrides input one. This input is great for things like electric guitars. In terms of outputs, we have four quarter inch jacks on the back. This would be perfect for connecting up to two sets of monitors, but could also be used for things like effects loops or guitar reamping. On the front, we have two headphone outputs, one connected to output channels one and two, and the other to three and four. This is great because it means we can have separate mixes for engineers and artists. More about that when we look at the software. The few controls on the Evo 8 combine to give us a lot of functionality. This is due to the large multifunction knob at its center. For example, select one of the output buttons and the knob controls that outputs volume. Press one of the input buttons and you can control that channel's gain, as well as switching its phantom power off and on. Press two channels at the same time and they're stereo linked. Long press on a channel and you'll mute it with the button flashing to indicate its status. By the way, are you finding this video useful? If you are, then go ahead and hit the like button for me. Do it right away so that you don't forget. And if you do like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell on YouTube so that you're notified about my other videos. Now, back to this video. We can either operate the Evo 8 physically or via the provided software. Obviously the changes are reflected in both places, but the software provides some deeper functionality. As well as setting gain and mixing levels for the four inputs, we also have two independent outputs from our door that we can blend in. This is great for getting a good mix between our inputs and the door for latency-free monitoring. This all becomes really powerful when we implement the artist mix feature. Now, as well as having an overall volume control for our two master outputs, Outputs, we can also have separate mixes for the outputs. Perhaps, for example, we want a separate mix for the artist, which includes a metronome. We route the metronome from our door to the second pair of outputs and push that fader up for the artist. Back to the other output and we have the mix without the metronome. Artists will often require a different blend of their signal and backing music to help them perform better. This can all be done with the artist mix feature. The other fader that we can see on the mixer is for loopback. Although the Evo 8 has four physical inputs, we'll see another two available in our door for loopback. With this feature, we can send audio from Windows or Mac applications to the loopback channels. This is great for people like myself providing tutorials or anyone who wants to include audio from their computer in a recording. So I know many of you are using two in, two output audio interfaces, and you may have come across the limitations of that already. As soon as you go to a four in, four out interface like this, you open up a whole new world of possibilities. You can do things like effects loops, you can do guitar amp reamping with this, makes it much, much easier. And of course, you can do things like recording vocals and guitar at the same time, but record the guitar in stereo. You could even use this for small drum kit setups or any any multiple source recording that you want to do. Now the two headphone outputs having separate mixes for them is a big bonus in my opinion. That's going to make your ability to collaborate with other people much, much easier as an engineer. Now the software that they've upgraded for this is really, really nice. Much better than the Evo 4 software in my opinion. It's simple to use, but it's really powerful as well. So I definitely do recommend this. Check the links in the description down below for a price 
And for my fellow Australian viewers, check the link for Studio Connections, where there'll be a list of Australian dealers there. While you're in the description, do check out my link for Patreon.com. For as little as one dollar per month, you can help me help you by making more videos like this. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next video.